What is going on, my freaks, geeks, and free thinkers? This is Mike Romanelli, and we are on episode number 15. We had a fun show, a uh, tiring show. It was after a sold-out night at the Dojo of Comedy East in Morris Plains, New Jersey. It was a crazy night. Um, <clears throat> Sean Morton. Yeah, Sean Morton rocked. The place was packed in a socially distanced way. And um, <laughs> it was socially distanced. It was, packed. <laughs> it was socially distanced, packed, and you know we recorded late after we all we all of us in on the show we broke down or whatever. But it started off a little slow this show, but then it got cooking. It got really cooking, and we got into some really important stuff. A lot of fun, a fun topic. And our guest was T.J. Francis. He is a local, up and coming comic. Um, He's from this area. He was really more of a New York comic, but after we went to uh, shit in New York City, he moved back. Yeah, yeah, that's he was here first. That's how I yeah. knew him. Yeah, and then um, he moved to New York, and then yeah, uh, it became the home of COVID, and then he was like, "All right, I'm out." Yep, like most people are doing in New York, you know. But he did try to go to the city to to, to crack into the industry, and then um, we're lucky enough that he's from this area and he's been hanging out, and we had a, a lot of fun with him in the studio. It was great. Get rid of that. This so, guy looking at his phone. I'm yeah. going to start staring at my food now. If you're doing that. And, uh, Everybody see my food over here? From the dojo of comedy? I guess we got some good food for a comedy club. Super good food. <laughs> it's, I'm looking to eat that. What else, Clint? What's going on? Nothing. Uh, we are brought to you, as always, by Hero Soap. Everybody go to HeroSoap.com. It is locally sourced and made in Arizona. It's owned by a Air Force veteran. And it actually, some of the proceeds go to uh, charities for first responders and um, military personnel. And also, your first order will be matched and sent to deployed troops. Um, overseas so you can also get 20% off if they use the code free thinkers with an S uh, at checkout you can get 20% off and it's for a good cause and uh, Lucas seems like a cool guy yeah. um, the little bit we've interacted so um, all around good deal please check that out and also check out uh, tiffscomedy.com we have a website uh, debacle still so it's still <laughs> tiffscomedy.com but uh, you can see all the shows that are here at the dojo we have a super busy October and then actually at the end of October if you're in Sussex County New Jersey um, we're doing the Skyland Stadium um, October 30th mischief night with uh you know like nobody else really does mischief night at least not like new jersey most places don't even know about it so of course we had to have a mostly jersey show with jersey legends yep. uh jim florentine uh rich voss bob levy and then uh bob pulled uh barry ribs out of brooklyn new york so that's our a real uh, motherfucking real guy from brooklyn. <laughs> not a hipster yeah <laughs> not a hipster no he's a That's brooklyn original brooklyn. yeah so real please brooklyn. check out um tiffscomedy.com all that stuff is on there or go to event and look up uh the dojo of comedy um yeah please uh, yeah i hope you enjoy the show yeah thanks Later. guys Black marketeers of World War III, excisers of telepathic sensitivity, osteopaths of spirit, investigators of infractions denounced by bland, paranoid chess players. What's going on, Clint? Not much, Michael. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. We just uh, finished up a show. At the dojo of comedy. That's so right. For a little slow. Oh, I think I got in. Been working all night, and uh, we just had a really great show. We had an awesome show. Uh, we ran into a friend at the show. We got a a, a comic that's been hanging out here. Um, very funny dude. Just got back here from New York. Uh, he's in the area. He's been hanging out. We got a uh, T.J. Francis in the house. What's up, T.J.? Hell yeah. 
Doing good, man. How are you guys? Originally from this area. Originally from this area. Originally not TJ Francis either, which oh, is kind of crazy. Oh, you're just going to put that out there? Like I, don't, oh, I mean, shit. I don't care, dude. Everybody knows at this point, but I've been bamboozled. I do go by TJ Francis. That's what the world will know me as. <laughs> All right. That's, only, that's the only way I know you. Yeah. <laughs> that's what most people know me. The other one's dead. He, he doesn't exist anymore. Cool. I love that. Then you're the you just came to the perfect spot. Exactly. Yeah. To lose an identity, come back into the free thinker society. Right. Yeah. So we just finished the show. That was awesome, right? It was cool. I. It's been. Uh, it was a. It was a nice sold out crowd. A little cold, but it's okay. I think people are dealing with. Uh, they just want to laugh, right? Yeah. I think they just want to. It laugh. was. It was cold, but uh, the guy was still sweating. I mean, it was not. He was very funny, but he was still very, sweating. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing, sure. right? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that myself. Yeah. That's what happens when you get up there. I, I don't know. I've never sw- I've never been like, oh, shit, I'm You're sweating sweater, right now yeah. on stage. I'm a no. sweater. I'm a no. sweater. Yeah, I get it. I got it. I was like, that would be me. Yeah, I'm, that's no, I'm was. not a sweater. That's last week that guy was like, I can see your Coke on your lip. And I'm like, it's sweat. Yeah. He's like, sorry, I'm making you nervous. And yeah. I'm like, I just fucking sweat all the time. Wait, while you're on stage? Somebody yeah. Why did yeah. this happen? Because I was did giving I him shit. I, well, I just Who? said a joke. I was like, hey, have you ever um, done mushrooms? He goes, yeah. I said, you ever, uh, I said, you just took a bunch and tripped your ass off. He was like, yeah. And I was like, that's because you don't respect the plant. You know, like, <laughs> and, then, and then I don't know. He said something about seeing Coke. And I was like, it, it's just sweat. Not tonight. What a weird thing to say <laughs> at a comedy show. Like, he you just wanted drugs? to call me out. Yeah, it's I fucking guess. weird. They Which I did a bunch episode. of. Yeah. I did a bunch of, well, I did a bunch of drug jokes prior to this. So that's probably right. That's where I got the idea. Probably, probably so. Fuck it's my own fault. He, how can you just assume what I'm like by what I just said? Also, when you're on stage and sweating, <laughs> right? Of course, like what, what do you think's gonna uh, happen? And that was really hot, and we run around, and uh, that's true, yeah. But anyway, uh, it's whatever. It was cool. It, we had fun tonight. Was packed out. Yeah, it was cool. Socially distance packed out. If anyone's listening, that's right. 50%. It was. It was. Sorry, Cuomo. <laughs> We've exactly. <laughs> it was well, packed out with the uh, allowance yeah. that the government says. 100% of tickets available were sold. That's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I love it. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, if I'm a little tired, that's why. It was, I did it was cough on all the audience members, though, but that was <laughs> totally different. Hey, did I see a, uh, uh, a mic condom tonight? He almost put it on, and then he was like, ah, I, I think it was part of a bit. I think he thought about that for a while. He brought it out, and he's like, I'm going to put it on. He's like, I haven't done this in a, I haven't put on a condom in a long time, and then he just oh, threw it away. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I thought that I on the she, stage. I thought that Donna oh, the girl had a, have. didn't the she girl use one or no? That's what I'm asking. I, I was really, uh, I, I was I was on the phone for half the show. I only caught that. Um, I was run, like, I was basically leaving to go take pictures, mm-hmm. so I kind of, like, missed the beginning, but I heard her say something about, um, not wanting she's 40 something and doesn't have herpes and she doesn't want them now so i think every comedian in the world has made a joke about a mask being a condom and a mic condom being a condom do you stay away from the covid jokes uh i mean like you know i don't really i guess in the beginning when i first got back after not doing comedy for a long time i made a few but like i'm never gonna like incorporate it into yeah. an act you know what well, I, mean? I mean like if you go on stage recently would you would i mean you if there was up? something in the news like now that trump has it i'll probably yeah. say something i don't know what yet i'll probably be dead by the next time i have a show but like i don't know I he will wouldn't. or you will he will me me too probably i don't know oh you just freaked no, out man. i don't think he'll be dead i'm, I'm that's the thing it's topical enough you almost have to you have to well, if you don't you bring it up it's bring weird it up. It, yeah. exactly exactly you're that's right you know and i've heard a lot of people like no pre-covid jokes and I'm like, jokes. that's all I have. What yeah, are you wait, talking yeah. about? Yeah. I'm like, uh, well, I like pre-COVID or post-COVID or whatever we're in, but not like quarantine jokes. I'm the new this. normal. That's what everybody uh-huh. says. We're in the new normal. I like, say, right. I say the fuck with people because they get so mad when you say it. So I do it as like a troll. Like my wife freaks the fuck the out. New normal. I say it's the new normal, and it's just I just like to fuck around. Right. Um, I lo- I love doing that trolling people. But that what do you guys, what do you guys think? Fucking President Trump has. Cool. It's really weird. Uh, I, I, my dad is. I don't want to say he's a big. He's not definitely not a big Trump guy, but he, I think he likes Trump. Yeah. And I was like, he might die. Like he's old and fat and out of shape. Like there's a chance he could die. He's yeah. like, he's gonna get the best doctors in the world. I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't matter. Like he could still die. Dude, he's taking hydroxychloroquine. That's true. And he's drinking he's drinking bleach. Is. I think he's I good. Think he, I don't think he is. I think he stopped. He's shooting. I think he bleach. was. Uh, here, here's what I, 
<laughs> what I kn- what I know is whatever we're being told isn't true. It's at least half. Yeah. True. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's like, where I'm at. Yeah. We're at least at a half. Point. Right. Like I think he has it for sure. Mm-hmm. How bad it is, I think they're playing it down. Like he put out a video yesterday and he looked bad. Did he? Oh he yeah. He looked white and he See looked. See if you can find it. It was brutal. He looked. He sounded <laughs> awful, dude. He had like a cold and a cough, and I was like. Might be having Pence fucking go against maybe, Biden next but debate. Maybe, maybe he's going to come out and be like, you know, like all the people that were like, you fucking idiot conspiracy theorists are all of a sudden like, yo, he does not have COVID. All right. Yeah. He's just saying that. And then he's going to come out of it and be like, uh, see, it was nothing. Right. A lot. So a few of my friends have told like they're like, it's a political play. It's like, what is the play? Why? Why would he fake it? You know what I mean? I don't see the to play. To show he uh, survived so. it. I don't see that either. Or, or the, well, they're like... That's right. the video. It depends how deep you want to go. He I does look pretty friends, white, right? Yeah. It, it depends like what friends you uh, speak to. Because there's some people, like the QAnon people... Shout out say, Q. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Q. So they will say... Uh, I can't believe you're going to have me do this, Clint. I'm not that good with this. I'm going to... So what... Um, uh, he posted it on Twitter. Yeah, I saw it for a second. But what the QAnon people are saying, I'm sorry, Clint. What the QAnon people are saying is, you know, this is all they call call everything optics. Then they'll say, um, right. good the, term. They'll see, yeah, they like to say. Optics. Whenever you're talking about something, you say optics. You're like, mm, that guy's a point. He's correct. <laughs> so they're saying that this is the the ten days of darkness. So he will be away for ten days, and mass arrests are happening. One thing I have to say, very interesting though. This is pretty wild. So listen to my buddy Tommy G's uh, podcast on the way in. I didn't get to finish it, but they were saying about these four. Um, they call them Project Looking Glass or Doomsday Cop uh, um, helicopters that all went out, and I guess that they only put these up in the air when it's like a nuclear threat or something crazy is about to happen. Okay. So I got to look into it more. I mean, Tommy's pretty. He'll research a lot, and the people he had on will research. Obviously, they're more cute. They lean towards that side right. a lot, heavily. But that I got to look at that. That's what I took away from them. Like, wow. Because so, sometimes the Q stuff does does add up. Of course. you know, Of course it does. But my favorite thing about Q is that they have answers within minutes. It's like, what, like why can't he just have... And I'm a conspiracy guy, yeah. so I'm not coming yeah, here like no, trying to no, shit on Q. No, no, no. I, I, I'm just fine. like, it's why? Fine. Why doesn't he maybe just have COVID, and then we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm at that point too, right but now. But also, right? uh, he came to Bedminster, mm-hmm. or he he. So he flew into Morristown to yep. the Morristown Airport, which is like five minutes from my house. Mm-hmm. And he, uh, I saw. I felt like Henry Hill two days ago. All I saw was helicopters all day. Yeah, and it was weird. And I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? And then I found out he was uh, going, I guess, to play golf. And you just said helicopters, and I was just thinking about that. Like, I don't know if that has anything to do with that, but it's just, it's weird, dude. It's a weird thing that he has, and now everybody else has it. Chris Christie, Kellyanne Conway. Yeah, well, Pence is the only guy. I spell Trump correctly cool. before I do it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Type it they, in on Twitter. I'm sure you could just find it on Twitter. They all. Um, there it is. See, right, right there. here, right? Yeah. yeah. So they all. Um, yeah, a lot of his aides, a lot of people. I thought that's what I hit. Hit play right there. I thought I hit accept first, is that why? Got to gotta do the cookies. You hit it before, but it wasn't um, a video, I don't think, in the you article. Gotta hit, you got to hit a... Oh, hold on. So, yeah, you know, this is the... F- I, I did see it. He does look... He looks a little let's, white, let's right? Hear, let's hear him. Yeah. It's not even that crazy. Like I feel you guys are going to be like, you're such a pussy, but... <laughs> It's not. I just think he sounds bad. We're good, Clint. Yeah. I want to thank everybody for the tremendous support. I'm going to Walter Reed Hospital. I think I'm doing very well, but we're going to make sure that things work out. The first lady is doing very well. So uh, thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate. I feel it. like I he sounds congested. Am I wrong? Yes. Yeah. And that's bad. I want to begin by he has it. Trump is already dead, folks. If you're listening to this, he's already dead. Wow. Not to be an alarmist or anything, but we're all going to die. So, yeah. That is correct. But uh, unnecessarily early, I guess. Is yeah. I've had so many. I mean, 
I know it's like gay. Can we say gay? Is that you could say anything okay. you want. You could say <laughs> I know it's like want. gay to talk about like anxiety and shit, but since this whole corona thing, mm. my anxiety has gone through the roof like every night. I'm like, why is this not the night that the aliens come? Dude. Do you know what I mean? That's so cool you is said that. Is that fucking wild? That's cool you said that because I got I thought I got rid of anxiety years ago and right. I'm finally yesterday just started saying to everyone around me like i am fucking riddled with anxiety so much dude but uh, it's but it's kind of lame to talk about it people are like all right pussy yeah. just fucking go to work yeah no one yeah. cares about yeah. anxiety i miss the times when you were a pussy for having anxiety i kind of do <laughs> too <laughs> i am a pussy i agree <laughs> but it's just fun now it's like we got to be all accepting of your fucking pussiness yes listen i'm always skeptical of my pussiness um <laughs> we're all pussies you know, everybody's a pussy it's I, real except for like liam neeson maybe i didn't talk about 9-11 and act like it was a normal day at work for fucking years and so, like right. that i just happened to be at school that day like i just always was like oh you know it just happened everyone from new york had to deal with that and it took me a long time to realize no oh no i had fucking real ptsd yeah like, like it was crazy um as i get older i don't really care as much yeah. about being a pussy but it's still fun to make fun of. It. But no, I have anxiety and that's the waves. What's wrong. That's what's going on with the nation. It Everybody's is true. Everybody's becoming okay with being a pussy. I think it, job, no, you yeah, should be able to be a it. pussy, but it's also make fun of it. it. <laughs> like, make fun of me for being a pussy. I don't give a shit. But I'm a pussy. Then you're not a real pussy then, right? Because they would also get offended by us making fun of you being a pussy. No. Well, I wouldn't. I don't. I, I, I'm so, dude, fucking cancel culture and like people being offended. I, uh, I could go off on that for days. So I you're not that, that much shit. of a pussy. Is no, but point. I still have anxiety and that makes me a pussy. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. It's just, I just, I, it goes in waves for me. Some days I'm like, comedy always helps it. A good show always gives Comedy's me a nice afterglow. Especially you guys like work out. People. I used to. I'm yeah, back. Exactly. I'm back. In, I'm back. In, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I used to all the time. I'm back on my third day. I used. I, I. It's weird, man. I always meditated every day. I always worked out every day. I did a lot of things every day. Uh, I didn't drink alcohol. Um, and then quarantine hit, and I started, every day. started yeah. drinking. I don't lift. I don't, I don't lift. I don't, I don't work out. I don't do yoga. I don't meditate. Me Stuff that I did for years every single day. Um, so obviously, I know you're get, going, Clint. You're probably right. That's why the anxiety is here. But we are in a fucking pandemic. We are like these weird percentages that we're allowed to be open. You guys are playing in parking lots and, you know. Listen, Clint doesn't have anxiety because he has biceps in his veins or veins in his biceps. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's the only reason. If I had veins in my biceps, I wouldn't have problems either. I'd be like, this is sick. And then I just look at myself so in the mirror. Because I do have problems. That's probably true. <laughs> Dude, I used to work out a lot. I played a college sport and now I just... Mm. Drink every night and eat poorly because yeah. I'm like, well, you gotta diet support starts the room, and yeah. you gotta support the room. What, like when, when you I'm go here? to Mike's? No, of course. You and I will. I'm not gonna room. stop drinking. But I here's know. what I do: <laughs> I is I always I'm tell myself, saying. diet starts Monday, so I have to eat everything in the goddamn world yeah, today. See? Listen, let me tell you something about starts. diet starts Monday. This guy got okay, it. we're gonna, of course, bring it back to dirt bike shit. That's okay. But the people that were like, next month, I'm gonna backflip. Guess what? Never they backflip. never yeah. did backflips, okay? And the kids that were like, fuck you, I'm doing it yesterday. Yeah. You can't stop me. Guess what? Those motherfuckers did backflips. Right, but I have that mentality with some things, like <laughs> comedy and shit, but, and like things I want to do. But with diet, I'm like, nah, exactly. my body's fine. You my just fine. fucking said it. So You don't want to do it. Is diet? that what it is? No, I don't want to do diet. It so sucks, then, dude. Dieting sucks. So then that it, it's like... Uh, with again flipping my friend said I was super scared and my friend said hey don't worry about anybody else's timeline because somebody else learned to flip like way faster than me and it was tripped me out and he's like when the consequences of not flipping become worse than the consequences of like crashing one he goes it'll that's the time and he goes it doesn't make sense right now but it will and I eventually got to the point where I was so fucking mad that yeah. it was worse on my mental psyche to not i was like listen i would rather crash my dick off right now and break my leg than fucking continue to do what i'm doing yeah and you don't really give a fuck you're i'm not, not at that, that fat. point yet. you're I'm not, not that, that fat, fat. i <laughs> take off my shirt and people are like whoa <laughs> but, but before that it's like fine like if i whenever I, I, I wear a black sweatshirt every fucking day because you i cover fit. the tits yeah, yeah. <laughs> i got you man but what i want to ask you clint is and tj you you hit it too like i've I'm so focused on comedy. I'm so focused on work. I'm focused on a lot of things where I'm giving it 110. So how do you, and you I know you are too, because I work with you every day. How do you find the balance? You know, that's, where do you find balance? I probably am slacking on comedy 
for booking stuff or like trying to make this thing like yeah but you yeah, get but up that but you get up a lot man. i do get, up, get a lot. up a lot so that's I not true 100 percent. yeah but i don't you're balanced write, man look, you look good you say you don't have anxiety so you'll be our balanced guy we're gonna ask questions <laughs> too how, how do you ba- how do you balance it i feel like Why? booking helps in the idea like right because when we start open I'm micers at, it's that's gonna help you in the long run I feel i'm like. at least um comedy minded but i'm not like writing but yeah. i i also but you're balanced you're also lifting a lot. You yeah, go to your no. other job. You're balanced. So I'm asking you, how do you do it? Because that seems to be my problem. In my, I'm having a real conversation with you guys right now because it's kind of what it's been going on in my head. It's like I always do that. I always go all in one aspect. Like when I was working out, meditating, doing all that stuff, Yeah, comedy was kind of half-assed. It was you know, good, but it wasn't as this is all I think about. Yeah. you know, This is all I think about. Um, and I'm not talking about I'm dude, that's I'm good. I'm afraid of being podcast, fat. podcast and even the restaurant. I'm afraid of being fat, the, Mike. The, you are fat. <laughs> you're no. fat. <laughs> no, 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 no. You like you have you're balanced, dude. You are. So how do you do it? I don't know. I always my um, thing that uh, I think of for I'm kind of lucky because I don't have a job that's super like I can kind of dictate my schedule and stuff. Although I have set myself up that way, I did have a full time job. And I was there so much, I couldn't really work out. I was tired, yada, yada. I didn't as much as it's like, I like the people there. I don't necessarily enjoy being a mechanic all the time. Yeah, yeah it's, not so, your passion. it's not your passion. Right. So that's hard for me. So I made it to where I was like, listen, I'm going to take off time doing that so that I can have more time for doing my own things. And I include when I'm home and I work, I make sure that I get at least 20, 30 minutes in. Sometimes I'll do like two short workouts, one in the morning, one at night. But like that's part of I make sure that I get that in. Do you write down what you're going to do for the day? No, you don't. I'm a maniac. You, I'm when you're on, when you're on point, TJ, do you write work? Down? Sometimes uh, work I, I when I have a plan. Yeah, I was dude. I was coming at it. So I, again, I played I played uh, baseball in college and coming out of college, awesome. I was really into working out. And this is before I started comedy or anything. I knew I didn't want to work like a classic nine to five bullshit job. So for a second, I was like, I'm going to be a trainer. And I was like really fucking into it. And then I was like, I, I don't know. I don't love this. I need to do something else. And that's when I started to get into comedy. But now it's like I'm so far the other way where it's like I fucking eat trolley gummy worms for dinner and I don't work out. And then I'm like, this, this will work. And it just doesn't. But then um, I do comedy. How old are you? 26 as of a few days ago so that's um i raced my whole like growing up and then uh i stopped at 21 and started doing freestyle which was just tricks so right. then i stopped working out all together and at 26 i was the most i ever weighed which is 196 and yeah. i was basically didn't feel good so i crashed like two weeks before and i was like still sore and this kid bounced himself it was like 19 bounced himself off the concrete and was like Ugh. better than me by the afternoon you know what i mean and i was like something needs a gift yeah so that's... i started getting back in but i did the same thing i totally stepped away yeah and then i got to a point where i realized i was like i'm gonna get in shit i'm gonna fix figure it out you're going to you, you i'm not just, gonna be ralph you May. were so hard on it for so long yeah that's how i was i trained so much right. for so long that when i didn't necessarily have to yeah i was like fuck it and completely didn't do anything right because here's the thing dude i don't show fat in my face like my face is like not fat like i don't really have yeah. a double so i'm like all right fucking it's winter i have black sweatshirts i'm good <laughs> but then come but, like march i'm gonna be like all right we because gotta tighten you're it probably up. not that big like when i i was at 40 percent body fat at i'm probably around that six but that was the biggest i ever got you know and i think to most people that's probably almost average maybe no 40 is a ton say? dude yeah 40 40 is a lot that's a lot dude I that's almost you, half your I body you weight most people are at least that fat i'm sure they're over 25 but 40 is a shitload I think you're exaggerating. I don't think you were 40. That's how That's I what they I said. Imagine That's what Gold Jim that. told me. Maybe they were just trying to get me to sign up. They're trying up. to get you to sign up. Dude. Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> is pulling the strings there trying yeah. to get you it was to like sign up. A, a guy from Are you Jersey sure it wasn't Planet before. Fitness? No, it was definitely Gold Jim. I don't even think there was. Th- I was 26. This was, was 2006. Yeah. I'm not even sure there was Planet Fitness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. We'll so, figure it out one day. So Trump COVID, I don't know, man. I think it's going to be like this. I think obviously this is he's going to join Planet Fitness. Yeah. 
not be Trump's judged. Gonna- <laughs> Dude, I think anybody. there's a few things that could obviously happen. He's going to either hold die, which would be I don't I don't I don't wish death, and I don't hope that doesn't happen. Of course not. Um, the second thing would be, you know, he 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 beats it pretty quick, and they show people like, wow, nothing to be scared of. Which I, honestly, I'm hoping for that. I'm really hoping that he beats it very quick, and uh, people are like, you don't need to freak out as much. And we kind of hopefully that's what get the liberal our, conspiracy theorists. Say. Right, but Get the reason life. I just said, of course not, pretty like adamant right there is because so I feel like I'm on social media more than you guys just because well, I'm on all the time, yeah. um, and the amount of people out there that are like fucking like wishing for Trump's death is just unbelievable. It's like so sickening to see. Yeah, like yeah. it's just so sad that these fu- they're like That's 32. Sad. Like Judd Apatow is like, oh, really? oops, hope he does. I, I I throw his name out there because he's always a big Trump's a fucking idiot yeah. guy. I don't know. And I'm not even I'm not a Trump guy. Yeah. But I am also not like one of these people oh. is like Trump is ruining my life. Yeah. And these people that are getting on Twitter and like I oops, hope he doesn't die, but if he does, I'm happy. And it's like really that's what you're gonna say? And then they try to make the argument like, well, a week ago they were saying bad shit about RBG. It's like no nobody did no. said yeah. bad shit about RBG. No, 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 no. She I got praised for a week. Yeah. Just that she couldn't just care. dictate how her spot was given away after her death. That right. was the whole thing. Yeah, but yeah. no, but it wasn't any attacks on her. No, not at all. Literally, like, do you saw? Did you see the thing Trump when he found out? He was like, "Oh, that's very saddening." She was a great. He said she did public a lot. Yeah. or whatever, blah yeah. blah. And now people are like, "Well, should have take. He should have shouldn't have called it a hoax." And then CNN even was like, "He never called it a hoax. Yeah, this never. is you're lying." It's Dude, just unbelievable. I, the that thing is that up. see that's why we've I get talked into about tr- this before, but. People go 100% one way or the other, right? Like, if you say that there... Nobody says there isn't a virus at all and that nobody died. Q, nobody's maybe. Nobody's <laughs> saying... I don't think there is. You, you might believe that there's no virus. All right. Maybe. <laughs> no. But I don't think that they're saying that, right? So, like, people go... We just think that the agenda is being pushed a little bit far yeah. and that they're trying to manipulate us some in some way. Mm-hmm. Not that there's n- that nobody has died from anything other than the flu or whatever and they're just calling it that. Right, but, but have you, that's how they do it to just defeat your argument. They just like, "Oh, you're an idiot. Uh, obviously it doesn't exist." Yes. Uh, two things about that. Number one is like the amount of like the flu numbers have gone down like over a hundred percent, which is like, yeah. okay, there. what the fuck's that? <laughs> yeah, not exactly. There. Not there. And then the second thing, now here's my argument with Q. And again, I'm going to preface this. I'm not a Trump guy. I'm obviously not a Q guy. I kind of like, just like, I know it's lame to call yourself a libertarian, but that's kind of what I am. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, I got so Q, the Q people say that Trump is in there to basically break up the system. But then they also, the, there's also like this narrative that like Trump is using this to help the system and like gain, you know, uh, just like right after 9-11, they gained fucking uh, access to our data and shit like that. And now they're kind of doing that again with coronavirus. It's like if Trump is in there, according to Q, to break up the system, why is he then also using Q to kind of get back into the system and like break into it? Yeah, our- who's saying that he's using it to get to break in or whatever? That Well, I guess maybe it's a bad thing that I just said because like Q is saying one thing. But it, like the general idea is that like they're using coronavirus, the yeah. They, meaning the government, is yeah. to get more access to us. But uh, I would say that hasn't the government kind of fu- pushed back against a lot of the things that Trump has done? Like, just because he's president doesn't mean that he's putting all this stuff forward. You know, there's still Congress that has, yeah. you know, bills or whatever. So, I mean, I, I don't think... That's where the waters get muddied because they just blame every, depending on their narrative, they blame it on this guy or he has nothing to do with that or whatever, you know? So yeah. y- you don't fucking know. I don't know. Q is, uh, it's, it's, Q is so weird because there are a couple of my friends that I will talk to for hours a week and they will convince me and it does seem there's a lot going on. There's a lot of codes and, and there's a lot of weirdness to it. And it, it's almost to the point now with Q, if it's not real, we're fucked because then what might happen is but the third thing I was going to say is that he's there's some, going to be some kind of vaccine or something. There's forced vaccination. It's kind of what you were saying is with the Patriot Act. Well, then now it, they take away our rights on our body. If that happens, like they took away all of our surveillance rights that we had. We had tons of rights before 9-11. So if that's the if that's the main thing, if, it, if they just want to slip in like rights about vaccinations and all that stuff, we are fucked. Right. We're fucked. 
And uh, that could happen. If that happens, we're really fucked. But, you know, everyone's take on Trump and Q. And I think some people, I mean, in a way, Q is very, it's very cryptic, right? So it could be, it's almost like reading the Bible. <laughs> it really can be in a way because right. it's how you perceive like it. It's how you put it together. Yes. Right. And there's some people like, like, you know, we have friends, right, that put it to, and I'm like, shit, I, I believe this is, is 100% this is going to happen. Because they're smart and good, uh, they're good talkers. Yeah, you know? maybe, but I feel like their research. Hey, you know, and I feel like it, it's, it's. I'm not saying if I not read them. Right. If I read the post, I don't get that. But when they read it to me, so you know what I'm saying? It's like almost like with the way you read the Bible. Like someone will read the Bible one way and then tell you their interpretation, and you're like, "Oh shit, mm-hmm. that all makes sense." Or you'll read it and you're like, "This is a weird, this is a stupid yeah. story," or whatever you come up with. Right. It's all like ancient astronaut theorists. All right, we don't fucking know. They're just making. Fucking what is that? What does that mean? What ancient that? astronaut Never theorists. Heard of that. You never watched that Ancient Astronauts on TV? Ancient Aliens. Ancient Aliens. No. And then oh, the really? people that like study, like, so they're like, this is probably done by aliens. You know, where there's carvings and they're like, look, this looks like a helmet. And you're like, it does kind of look like a helmet, but yeah. you're just fucking guessing. You don't yeah. even know when that was carved. And they're like, ancient astronaut theorists say yes. And I'm like. Yeah. Cool, but you, you don't fucking have any idea, and we're never gonna prove whether or not right. aliens fucking did that or not. Yeah, or they, maybe they're coming out soon. I don't know, man. It's like God, never will prove it. Exactly. What are we trying to exactly. do? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I want a job like that where you're just like a priest. Uh, <laughs> no, not like that. Get uh, touch where you're boys. just like probably aliens. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Nate Bargatze's joke we're talking about scientists. He's like, fucking do cockroaches. He's like, they're 3,000 years old, 300,000 years old. He's like, really? Like, oh, probably. Something like yeah. that. And like, All right, I bet they're I really so. old. Yeah. yeah. Like, nobody's going to challenge you. Be like, yeah. I think they're 100,000 years yeah. old. You're <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, those experts on those shows, for sure. They yeah. Get, you know. But as far as, like, are you talking about ancient civilizations and all that kind of stuff? Because even that, we don't really have a for real timeline on. Well, they could they carbon date. They know that some of that stuff is really, really, really old. And then, yeah. and well, there's definitely, that's what I'm saying like Machu Picchu and all that shit goes. No, away. there's uh, go go Beckley Tepley, which yeah. is even older. Believe me, I know all these from fucking. But that's ancient aliens. Yeah, but I I don't know the ancient aliens thing is like yeah. How do you know they were aliens? It could have been interdimensional beings. Like it could have been all kinds of stuff. It, it could have been just fucking people on Earth. Yeah, literally. like a hundred thousand years ago that right. were really advanced and then a meteor hit and it wiped those motherfuckers oh, yeah. out too like yeah. he, here's the thing okay especially now like those days and here's why i say and i always bring this up you know i don't think we're that advanced of a society just because we're making all these synthetic things and harming the environment i think a really advanced society would be more like peaceful and one with nature and understand all that. Yeah, it would work with... with all those buildings are made out of natural elements that are like... Well, those ones that are left though, man. Well, this is my point. Yeah. Is that the things built like that are the only things that would survive. So like if a catastrophe happened now and it took a long time for people to develop... All this shit that we're sitting in right now would be fucking it's nothing. Gone. It's gone. And all the computer, everything's gone. There's no records. So, there's nothing yet. So everything that's in books, yeah. everything that's on disc, any of that shit, all that knowledge is gone. You know what's left? Shit carved in fucking stones. Mm-hmm. And you know who survives that? The fucking people that are still hunting and fishing yeah. and living off of the fucking land. You know? So what knowledge do they have right now that... You, they're still using sticks and shit. There is something to be said about like being like, I don't know how to provide for myself. Like at the beginning of this pandemic, people were like worried about grocery stores going down. And it was like, if, if they don't have food, I'm going to die of starvation. Like I, like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Right. You know what I mean? Like I would, be, I can't just pick out a plan and be like, this is not poisonous and then eat it. I don't know. And that was a lot of people. Yeah. And that was the beginning. That was four months, like six months ago. This pandemic showed us how fragile we are. For real. Um, yeah. And it's crazy. Yeah, because it wasn't even as... Imagine if it was really bad. Imagine if imagine if our grid went down. Imag- there's so many scenarios. That's that's where my anxiety comes from could be because yeah. I'm a little bit self-sufficient. I try to prep a little bit. I try... I've, been, I've had that in me for a while. I try to, you know, to figure... But what... It, 
if we really had no electricity for like let's say years or we lost like clint's saying let's or i don't know if he said it i know we were talking about the other day if like a real emp went off and all the copper wires and everything uh a computer generated went down for years let's say i we'd be fucked take me at that point yeah at that point i'm buying a gun and blowing my brains out i have not i mean if we don't have a computer are you shitting me <laughs> that's all i have is my computer and twitter yeah, but I mean, social media. We, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know. It would be wild, dude. Like, imagine trying to just like live life, not know it. Like, you can't text somebody. I'm not even. Th- I'm just thinking more about heating, cooling, like refrigeration, yeah. that kind of stuff. Like, you're you're like, and like you, I was saying, there was ways to do all this. Yeah. Uh, save meat with salt and cure it, and just like easy, simple ways to do. Even AC in houses, but. The mm-hmm. fact that we've had this grid and reliable power for so long, we've built an infrastructure that all needs this elaborate bullshit to work, and all of us have lost touch with all the shit around us. You know what it is? You know what it's like? I take Adderall because it's the best thing in the world. Um, <laughs> because it's legal cocaine. Yes, and I'm allowed to get. it's That's the best great. thing in the world. Meth and and, and, and oh, it's middle school meth. That's fine. I take middle school meth. I'll take it. So anyway, what, what I was going to say is that like somebody was like, you don't want to really get addicted to that. And I was like, why not? Like I have a prescription for the rest of my life. Yeah, it's totally fine. So why not just keep taking it? Like who cares if I am addicted? I still have it. Uh, but then I got off it because for a sec, I was like, I don't really want to get addicted. Now I'm back on it. But uh, I was like, I don't want to get addicted. And then I was like, it, like if you just take that away, like I'm so used to it and I think I'll have it forever. But then all of a sudden I took it away and it was a nightmare. Like You know what I mean? So it's kind of like that where it's like, all right, we're used to all this shit that we yeah. have. But if we take it away, we're not prepared. Yep. We have no, you know, no. we didn't fix the problem. We fixed it with a quick like, hey, take this. Because, you know, I, I don't know if I have an actual focus issue or I just wanted to take Adderall. Mm-hmm. But, like, I could probably fix it if I worked on it. But me just taking Adderall, it's like, all right, just quick fix, boom, yeah. got it done. But if I fucking solve the root of the problem, I would be good without Adderall. Well. But now I'm not. We don't want to do that. We want to be able to eat fucking cupcakes and Yeah, because it's way better. Or whatever the yeah, fuck. And then take better. a pill. Yes. Hell yeah. Which, by the way, insane that I'm still fat on Adderall. <laughs> because I just, I mean, that takes away your appetite. And I should be not fat. But if all you're eating for dinner is gummy Trolly bears. gummy worms. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> then, yeah. That's bad. I agree. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go to Cluck You Chicken later today. Of course. I, oh, that's what you, he that's d- He goes at like fucking yeah, 2 a.m. That's, that's the only place open go. at 2 a.m. That's where Why you go. are you eating at 2 a.m.? Because go. I'm like, diet starts Monday, so let's get some burgers in tonight <laughs> because I'm not going to be able to have it from Monday on. Yeah. <laughs> and then Monday comes and I obviously don't start. That's my mind. That's my mental. I'm you a just nut. Gotta go. I'm starting now, and Sunday is my day to fucking go and cluck you or whatever. That's true. You yeah. sound like my mom. You just gotta put one foot. Yeah, you just gotta do it one day. You, uh, with anything, you just gotta start it like this day. And always wear a condom. True. I uh, I no, you shouldn't do that. He said. Sometimes uh, you do. He said you sound like my mom. That's true. Your mom true. Like? Yeah. My, well, no. My mom. My mom thinks I'm a virgin. Shout out Jesus. But I uh, yeah. always wear your chastity belt. Yes, I have a chastity. I'm actually wearing it right now. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, she thinks I'm a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> We're fragile. I do think that. I think a lot of people are. I'm always optimistic. I think at once we come out of this thing. Unless we're just end up in FEMA camps. I always kind of say that because that could happen. <laughs> but if we don't end up in FEMA camps and we do come out of this and I, I, I feel like. I can promise you this, Michael. I'm getting shot before I go to a fucking FEMA camp. Yeah. I'm running the FEMA camp. <laughs> hey, we could run a club out of there, man. Yeah. I mean, at least as long as we do comedy in the FEMA camps, I don't we give could. a shit. I'm getting shot. Tattoo my arm and number. I don't care. Up. Just get me but out. But let's just say like everything does Let's just say this Great Awakening is really happening because there's definitely some weird shit going on in the world. Like For I sure. know it's some woo-woo shit, but Be you know cool. the resonances are, are are people feel weird. People are feeling uh, everyone. A lot of people are feeling strange. They from there's different uh, moons happening, um, cycles. I mean, who knows, man? Maybe 2012 was is 2021. I don't know, but it it uh, something's going on, and I I think we're gonna come out on the positive. The minds are dyslexic, or we yeah. That or yeah, they or, were eight or, years too late. Is that what you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. It could be that, or it could also well, be. They I also I, said that it started in I think 2012. It happened in 2012. That's when it started. That's to, what I say. I've been saying that forever. Oh, really? Is I've been a, saying that forever. That's just I don't know. It's how not much. like a. Theory. It's not like a. 
yeah. 2012, boom. Oh, I it's thought it like was the rapture. 2012 is like, the, well, it's like going into it. I think we might have jumped the timeline or something or something with CERN. Something happened around 2012 where I feel like, the, to me, the world just seems a lot different from 2012 to now. How we know? How we know if we jump the timeline? How we know if we're in a different, like a parallel universe and something shifted? Uh, they are messing with CERN, that Heatron Collider. Um, and they're doing a lot of crazy shit out of there. And if you think about it, but I do also, a, a part of me also believes that we're on the brink of something good. And once we could like clean up ourselves, like we were all talking about, just even clean up our, our minds, our bodies, our diets and, do, and balancing. If we could shake this whole COVID, the 2020 thing, and we get to the other side of it, mm-hmm. I think that we can all come together and start thinking about, hey, you know what, man? I got to know how to garden. I got to know how to heat. Uh, I got to know how to preserve foods. I feel like people are going that way. And if we could just get to the other side, we could all start that Monday morning fucking thing. I, I think there's a lot more people that are... You have people like Elon Musk. I think he's a good guy. I really do. And he's just constantly problem solving. And he's thinking about you know, his new air conditioning system. It's going to be so powerful, but you're going to get the best, purest drinking water. He just looks at these little uh, big problems that we have that you guys are saying and turns them into solutions. And I think there's a mil- uh, there's tons of people out there thinking that way. Unfortunately, the media keeps putting the bad, the bad, the bad, the bad down our throat. And they're also getting exposed. Because yep. one thing I feel like we all could agree on in the beginning of this conversation is that no matter where you stand on Trump, I know why I, I'll say it, why I like Trump, because I don't love the guy, he's a lot of things, but why I why I feel like he may be a good guy is just how much everyone is, is telling us to hate him. Yep. It's just so obvious. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, I always kind of like, it's so obvious, right? Whenever the media is shoving something down my throat, I always go the other way. I learned that a while ago. So I give people a lot more credit and that's just kind of where I am at this. I feel like if, if we can get to the other side, I think that people will start thinking of things a little bit. I know I have been, and I feel like I, I'm not the only one. I don't know. No. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree, you know? especially with a lot of the media stuff, like, like the media is, they are getting exposed. I think this yeah. fucking COVID thing, like, I think everybody, if you are actually listening to like Fox news or CNN, there's still a good, faction i feel like but they're they're insane people yeah like they're insane either side if you're like listening to fox news and you're like oh that's the truth and that's as i know it and blah blah i mean i watch it all the time but yes no but same thing with cnn dude it's like uh, they just continually get things wrong and obviously have it i mean obviously they have an agenda but it's just like unbelievable that people only watch one of them and are like that's 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 what i'm going with well that's the thing if you only watch one and then your uh, feed is populated with things that are similar to that. Did you see Social Dilemma? Yes. I That's kind of like that. I mean, it's, exactly. It's that, yeah. It populates you with what you're yes, looking for. Which is wild and bad. And you know what engages you is shit that enri- like makes yeah. you mad. So yep. they show you that. And then your fucking world just becomes that. Yeah. And it's unbelievable. I think people are going to also look back at this time of social media and internet, the way smoking and diet things that they didn't understand in the 70s yeah. or 50s. Yeah, how stupid were they? Like how, yeah. yeah. I think they're like I think it was just too much and, and they're going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe you gave a kid a phone. I can't believe you did this or that. I don't whatever even it think it's that. I think it's these algorithms, man. Why doesn't your timeline just show you what the fuck Mike Romanelli posted next? Like in order, in like time you order. used to. Yeah, oh, I know it's so. And you used to dude, see I all go, your I want to go to a flip phone. I really do. I want to go to a flip phone. I do too, phone. but I really like I do. never can. I, I can't, but I want to. I really do. It's like me on a diet. It's like I want to, but Monday. I'm just not gonna. One day you're yeah. gonna go to flip yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel I'm like never more people it. will do that too. They will eventually. Eventually, I will. I, I don't think to. so, bro. They're gonna have a flip phone because they can see their their fucking video screen in their eye true yeah we're gonna get glasses soon you know what we're gonna get? we're gonna get a fucking chip imprinted or given into our bodies and then I'll did just be biden like, have what did clint did. just think and See, then i'll know yeah. what you thought right. and like that's his tweet you know what's funny guys there's a prophecy i forget which one there's a couple actually that come to this come to where we're at right now or getting close to it that's funny man because we're talking about 2012 or whatever I, I i know i forget who taught me this thing but basically it's like transhumanism right and it all goes down to like the chip and transhumanism and, and either uploading your consciousness so you never really die, mm-hmm. right? So it's like this whole, like, you're living forever, right? There's many different ways, black yeah. mirror type shit, right? And I've heard a couple prophecies about the world will split into, and it's almost like we're talking about, like, a more off the land, but using technology to your benefit. And then there's going to be others that are, let's just call it 
for simpler terms, like you're just going to go into a VR and your life's going to become VR or a simulation. Um, I've heard that from other, I've heard that from um, some natives, um, I forget what tribe, but I've heard that a couple of times from them. I've heard it from a guy who told, uh, who taught me meditation. I forget what he called it. And uh, I just thought about that. Like we could be at that point. We could really be at that point right now, actually, where very soon, like you're talking about like a uh, neural link and all that stuff, which yeah. finally totally will. Um, is, yeah. I said Elon's a good guy, but yeah. So like you were talking about the chip. And then even the Bible, I believe, says, I mean, I know that once again, you could be, that's a translation, but I think they talk about a chip, right? And you don't want, that's the Antichrist or whatever. So it could all kind of be boiling down to the same thing of like technology and maybe they'll vaccine with a chip type You're thing. They're going to mandate it? And what side? Vaccine? Yeah. yeah. So then, so then people can you to, go the other way? Well, then if you do, you got to get a, because there'll be a group of people, right? So then if there's a group of people that want to do that and go get their land and live off the land and say, fuck it, because I think it's going to become then like they a- they get um, loaded up in trains and sent yeah. to the thing. Hey, it could happen that way guess too. What? But maybe they, they are fucking endangering us by not taking the maybe shot. they won't. Maybe be like the wildlings in Game and of Thrones. And we can't fucking- maybe not. And, Maybe not. Maybe they'll And say, we can't, st- we don't know what they're thinking. So we can't have these people running around that we can't read their minds. Yeah, but okay. So if everyone right. uploads to the computer, let's say. Why does it matter anymore? They got all the, the people, whatever they need to upload. Because you think that they're going to let this little faction of people leave when they can, they can uh, you know, can make Maybe. them generate for them too? Po- I mean. Where is there a place where, I mean, other than that island. The uncontactable people on that island. Where the fuck else is there a place like that? Amazon rainforest. There's a little tribe that yeah. has no contact. Yeah, there's a couple, but with anybody how do they know or that? cave systems or they whatever. Kill they kill motherfuckers contact, whenever yeah. they come. Yeah, with bows and arrows through your chest. That's yeah. how they contact you. Yeah, there are some kill people. Know. There are some on on guns there, don't kill few. people. Bows and arrows do. <laughs> there are a few, but you know what I'm saying. Like, what if uh, I, I don't know? I don't. Well, then that goes back to the whole FEMA camp. Then you get to put it in a FEMA camp. But who knows? But that's another type prophecy. And maybe that's a, maybe that, here's your choice. You can go to um, the way of like AI and take your fucking yes. shots or whatever. Or you can go by the way of being free and die. <laughs> Hey, maybe that's like a that. weird yeah, that's that. a weird question well that could yeah that is weird because then all those people see it, it could be even the thing that it's i'm still saying. a choice right? yeah and it could be the thing i'm saying so maybe the ones that upload their consciousness they never go back into the reincarnation I'd probably, cycle i probably right? upload the consciousness i wouldn't i won't do it really? I, I think that you know i won't do it and i really, why wouldn't I, you want to just continue here's on? why we're gonna get into this the computer that's probably cool. doesn't have fucking that's cool another that, 30 minutes in it but here's why i, would. I don't have a charger I forgot my charger again. What, do we have 30 minutes left? No. Oh, no. The, I said uh, it probably doesn't have 30 minutes because we're getting into the reincarnation. Well, but that's deal. interesting because I, I would just say, no, I would not upload. You would. I would so because I hear why. here's why. So we talked about this before. I think we're going to talk about reincarnation. But I, uh, I'm i very interested in like what the fuck this all is. Like what is life, right? Like what happens when you die? Is it lights out? Do you reincarnate? Do you fucking – is it a simulation theory? Like what is this, right? So the reason – I had this conversation uh, with my friend. He was saying how his grandma was so old and she was like, I just want to go. And in my head, he he said, I get that. And I was like, I don't get that because all we know is life. You don't know what's next. So why do you just want to die? I get that you're kind of like tired of it, but why do you want to die? Like just live it as long as you can because whatever the fuck happens next is probably going to be longer. And it's like, you don't know what it is. What if you're burning in hell? You just want to go to that now? Have you ever had a a psychedelic experience? No, but I want to. Okay. No, that's not. Well, I take mushrooms. That doesn't really, does that count? Well, have you broken through or just like light, like microdose? Uh, You wouldn't know. It's not broke. No, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. But I fucking heard the the grass. I heard the wind blowing the grass. That's awesome. That's cool. You're getting more in tune. (laughs) That's it though. That's it. That's awesome. But, um, I see what you're saying, man. I do. Um, I... The thing that you, you also said, right, about simulation. So if you were to pick uploading, con- like if you upload your consciousness, we'll call it, or, or be- become one with the machine, mm-hmm. that is the simulation. That's it. Right. So if you were to say, you know, I'm going to die, which I do think they'll just, I mean, th- there's no other way they could do it unless, well, I hope I don't give them ideas that they, unless they force us into the simulation. But you say, hey, I die, and then you reincarnate, and maybe because enough 
souls reincarnate that all of a sudden we do move up to a higher state of consciousness all of us together that'd be really fucking cool and then you know i don't know nobody knows but when you do take heavy doses of psychedelics you get this feeling that there's way more to this Mm -hmm. and that i at least got uh, my experience is that after after this after this life you either come uh, you come back and Mm -hmm. it does seem that it, it, it ties in with like karma like i think i've been thinking about lately a lot like what if like you're like just a horrible horrible person and then all of a sudden like that that's the that comes back it's like a tortured uh insect like it's quick yeah. it's a quick life but you get to become a tortured insect like from a kid that just pulls your wings off whatever right um you know and like you have to like reach these different you know until you become this really good person and then who knows i don't i don't know i need and, like, I do your be- do your life the best the best you keep version. getting chances at it yeah you keep coming so back, here i'm coming back keep coming back yes here's why i love this question is because it's like what the f- like like what is deja vu mm. like you know what i mean like yeah. you've had that experience you're like i know what's gonna happen right here i i don't know to me it's like i don't know if there's a science answer to that but it's like why is that happening Mm-hmm. Where it's like I've lived this experience before, and I'm also living it right now for the first like time in real life. So what is what is that? And to me, that is something where it's like maybe it is reincarnation, but maybe I reincarnate as myself, and I have to go through my life a hundred million times in a row and just yeah. beat it and be figure that. it out. But what that. about kids that, that that are born and when they're real young, they remember their old lives? I think that's bullshit. Yeah. Dude, do you? No, I, no, not that. But I think people are like, I went to heaven and I saw God. It's like, yeah, did you? Yeah, that maybe. But there are stories of little kids being like naming stuff. We were talking yes, about it, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. naming yeah. a whole platoon of fucking yeah. dudes that got shot down. Yes, yes, that's very uh, interesting. So that should I believe? Okay, so that's reincarnation. Right, right, and I'm on board with that. So, so I that's what I was saying. Like, uh, or when I talked to Mike about this, and I'm like maybe uh when we die we become aliens and we're in another plane of existence and reincarnation is our brain being uploaded into a new body like basically ai have you guys ever read the power now no yeah it's a good book and i think it talks about that a little bit where it's like you're basically a being Mm -hmm. and essentially that where it's like instead of like actually uploading it to a computer or some shit it's just like your being is like around you die physically right but then that being then gets transferred right. somewhere else yeah so that's what i was saying that uh, ai is uploaded to a baby body and the first couple of years are is your brain trying to figure out how to wire and work that body because well, think about when you're a little teeny, you're just trying to, you, you're basically like, think about being a baby as much as you can or being really young and being curious about stuff. Now, think about if your consciousness was uploaded into something, into this new little being that starts out real small. And now you got to learn how to work this fucking thing that you got and take in this new like dimension that you're trying to deal with yeah but yeah. i feel like you you're you're almost like putting it both all together of my theory is that too much no because well, no no it's fine but it's just like you're saying uh, so you're you're full your your theory of what you're saying is like you're just we're in the simulation then right yeah, basically yeah. so we're already there but we're already there our, we we're are there. in simulation but we're yeah we're but they've just we're already there instead of us being in like uh robot bodies were in it's like westworld we're in these things think about the these things that we have right they can repair themselves to an extent unless you chop an arm off or something like that like i've gotten hurt plenty of times it fucking mends the skin back up yeah yeah, our early episodes we always would talk about how like you know who knows what the fuck this body really can do so yeah. yeah and like you said we we Especially now, we're not eating correctly. Like that's why, pr- probably, I'm amazed people are still living so long because, like, we're our nutrition is shit. And if you had better nutrition, we should be living way longer yeah, right now. But check this out, Clint. Right? So that's because we 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 put band aid we put band aids with medication, right? So that's why we live exactly. long. But if you look back at some of the more ancient or even not that much further back, they their stories of people live three, four, five hundred years. They talk oh, about yeah. it all the time. Yes, in really? Book, yes. If you go back, they'll talk about how people lived that long. That's what they say. Now, you know, there's no scientific fact, but it's mo- it's over and over all over the world. They'll talk about Damn. that. Yeah. So maybe, 
You know, again, in a more advanced society exactly. that was yes. using, working and with nature yes. and let food be thy fucking medicine mm-hmm, mm-hmm. instead of a tiny little pill to try and offset yeah, all and the other shit the that shit. you, yo, TV, I seen a commercial for um, some diarrhea pill and it was like, do you have a, a, what the fuck is it called? Regular diarrhea or, or, um. No, no, it's irritable like, bowel syndrome. No, not even. It's like something like uh, I don't remember. Guys, they have commercials for fucking diseases now. Yo, but it, they're like <laughs> wild. They're like, That's is crazy. it is it like uh, repetitive diarrhea or whatever? And the person compulsive like, no gonorrhea. No, it, it's just like frequent or something like that. <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> It's not Good even thing it, we that's not that what down. the word that's not what the word is, but it's something like that. It's like, do you have it often? And the do guy, you eat shitty is what it should have said. Person <laughs> goes no, and they go maybe you do, you know. And I'm like, oh, yeah, wouldn't one wouldn't their person wouldn't that person know how often they have diarrhea? But two, they're probably <laughs> is it correlate with every time you have milk or fucking yeah whatever like. This is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. Don't change your diet. Here, take this little pill, yeah. and we'll fix your... Well, dude, sometimes b- McDonald's tastes better than I giving know. it up. I you know. know what I mean? No, yes. McDonald's... Not everybody can be I as healthy that. as Taste you. Taste better than the than the uh, inconvenience of shitting yourself. Live free, die young, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Give me but, clock you at 2 a.m. I don't care if I die at 56. So do you not think we're uploaded into these? Here's my other thing, too. I think that a uh, long time ago, probably kids walk like think about every other animal as soon as it's born it's like can function Mm -hmm. and we're fucking idiots because we have all this extra shit we have to learn language fucking we got to learn to use the door and keys and you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. where you know centuries ago you just learned to walk and you know hunt or eat or whatever right. you know and now we've added all this extra stuff into you know that babies need to learn the color blue well do you know this is blue <laughs> this is red well the, there is definitely before new they were just like ah, ah. you probably will just you know <laughs> yeah, but that, that, there, link <laughs> that doesn't sound better what uh, yeah. just in the woods just being retarded yeah. just yeah. run that, <laughs> that deer there's a deer run it's like That's back in the day know. there used to be a, a tribe full of retarded people and they were living life correctly they loved yeah. it all right yeah, clinton <laughs> i'll be you honest dude retarded people are the happiest you people know, you don't know so, how happy. happy they are right. all right they are very happy so we're all sophisticated and miserable that is correct but you don't think there's any upside to society like computers like we're c- recording a podcast fucking lutely that's why i was saying i feel like there's gonna be we're a- polluting the airwaves with our fuck fucking the air dude thoughts. no, I'm kidding. no um, I, I think there it's a I, I i do believe that someday we're gonna figure out how to work with technology and nature and all that and there's so many quick fixes that we can do but it just gets shot down because there's so much money behind things litigation and there's yeah that and, and laws and and but there are a lot of quick fixes man people have especially young kids young kids come up with solutions to problems all the time there's been cars that run on water there's been lots of crazy shit out there Tesla figured out how to pull energy from the from the the, the sky and fucking give you free energy I mean there's been a lot of shit. Oh, but that Tesla. Yeah, and I feel Nicola. like... Nicola. Well, Nicola. That, this thing's going to die soon. All right, so... so uh, just letting you know. We will end this. Uh, we got a lot more to talk about, so we, we need will... to go back yeah, over dude, I can talk about. I can talk about that shit all day. We're like, I want to know what happens when we die. Is it lights out? Or we're are we... Eat mushrooms, and then we're going to I'll do mushrooms and do this. You know what? That's Allegedly. a great idea. I think that uh, part two... We got to be in nature, though. We got to be walking yeah. outside and touching the leaves. Part two, I don't know if I. It would be hard for me to be there, but part two, I want to hear uh, TJ after a. Hmm? It would be hard for me to set aside time to trip. Plus, I don't really don't do that anymore. But I would love to. Anything for the pod. I'd love to talk. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to have you on after a psychedelic experience. Yeah. It's done safely. I'll be your shaman. I yeah. want to do acid, but I'm afraid. I said it earlier. Well, I'm afraid I'll be the guy who thinks he's an orange no. and that heals his skin until he's dead. That won't happen to you. As long you're as gonna you get think real you're acid. watching the acid movie and you're, it's going to turn out it's Cameron Diaz. You guys going to start we're, melting? We're going to die. Uh, uh, we're not going to die right now, but the batteries will die. They True. won't. At least that's what Clint keeps saying. They won't. Um, Mel, their fam- faces will morph into other faces. And then uh, yeah. 
So it's like being drunk when you see like a hot girl. Yeah, and you're it's like, like oh, being you're really not drunk. Hot. <laughs> That's what we should tell him. Sure. It's just like being really yeah, drunk. Exactly. I saw a Good Time one time. If they, you're they drunk, is that is that close? If you're drunk and the wall melted, then uh, yeah. Okay. But the face is just more. This sucks that we have to end this way. But TJ will be back. I'm sure he'll be on a I'll be uh, back. no carnival because that's where we hang out. We're comedians. We kind of almost did a hybrid here. Um, thank you for everyone that tuned into this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and uh, if any of the swarm is still out there, thank you. We are part of the swarm. We love the swarm. Thank you, guys. Um, and check out the Dojo of Comedy East. We have some crazy shows going on. There are so much, so much action coming out of this place right now. If you are in the Northeast, if you're in the New York, New Jersey area, please come check us out. You will see... Some names that you know for sure, but you're also going to see some of the hottest and craziest up and coming talent in this area. I'm telling you guys, there is something crazy in the air in New Jersey right now. I think it's in the water. In the water. Um, it's in the mushrooms. Yeah, fuck pumpkin picking. Come to the dojo. Yeah. Uh, in, be with your parents. Do pumpkin picking. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> TJ, where can people find you? Oh, uh, follow me on any social media at T-E-E-J Francis, and then also download and subscribe to my two podcasts, Dumb Suit or Dumb, and then also Sis Radio. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thank bro. you for having me. Thank you. All right. Peace out. <laughs>